Well, happy game day, everybody. Mark Holmes here, of course, with Chef David Wiley. See, now you're going to get some really good food here as opposed to just the stuff that I end up doing here, okay? Um, we have, David is going to be taking care of this stuff. We've got the Eagles coming on in 45 minutes, so I'm going to be starting the live stream. But what we're going to do is today we're playing the Baltimore Ravens, so we've got a pot of chili. Nice pot of chili here because we won the first week having chili. So this is my red and black chili, I call it, because it's got black beans and it's like a red chili powder. Okay. We're going to have, of course, Joe Boo wings. Of course, yeah. you've got to have Joe Boo wings. Yeah. And we're going to have crab cakes because we're taking on the Ravens. Um, so David is actually going to be mixing up the crab mixture. and He's going to be making the remoli sauce. If you look at what I did last week, I've got a video on there on how I make my remoli sauce when we we did shrimp poor boy last week. We got our asses kicked, but that shrimp poor boy was good. So here's what the way I do my crab cakes, and you know those of you from Maryland and everything else, don't don't some shoot the messenger, okay? This is the way I do it, and that doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It's the way I do it. Well, and David, of course, is going to make sure we do it the right way. What I've done. Some people like to use bread crumbs, crumbs and things like that. I don't really like bread crumbs so much. So what I actually do is I've got some Italian, it's like an Italian uh, sub pieces. And I like to break this stuff up, you know, into little pieces in here. But what I do is I let it sit out so it gets a little bit crusty. Because we're going to mix up the eggs into this. Okay, we're going to mix the eggs. We're going to mix that parsley. We're going to mix the Old Bay. And we're going to make that with some Worcestershire sauce and make that into like your moisture. Now I've got <clears throat> three containers of lump crab meat. The thing that you want to have is you don't want to have too much bread in here. Oh, also mayonnaise. Can't forget the mayonnaise and the Dijon mustard. Um, you don't want to make it like cat food, okay? You want to try and keep the lumps together. So you're going to gently fold that together and then we're going to make like patties and grill those on the grill. And we're going to take the sub roll, we're going to slice that in half, we're going to put that on the grill as well. And like we did for the Reuben sub, with a little bit of that liquid margarine on it, so that way you'll have a nice warm sub and it'll have a little bit of a crunch to it. That crunch is everything, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that crunch is everything. So, he's going to get that situated and we'll add mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, Old Bay seasoning to taste, and, um, and, and if you're like me, you have no taste. Um, and did I forget anything? No. Mayonnaise, parsley. Uh, parsley, and Old Bay, and Worcestershire sauce. And that's basically it. What you really want with this is, you want the flavor and the sweetness of the crab meat to come through on here. And then when you put that remoli sauce with the red onion sliced real, real thin on there, the lettuce and tomato, it is a great, great sandwich. So, watch David right here, and I gotta make sure I have some Worcestershire sauce here. Hope I haven't written a check my behind can cash. <laughs> I haven't been here that much, so I am low on certain things. I got you down there, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. There it is. We found it. Hide in the back. You've got to have Worcestershire sauce. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, deep fryer going. And we're just going to watch you put all this together. All right. All right, so we took the three eggs right now. He's whisked that up. He's going to end up adding, of course, the mayo and the, uh, parsley. the uh, parsley, the Old Bay, and our Worcestershire sauce. And stuff together and then he's going to mix it with the bread. See we got the bread broken up really nice in here. What will happen is this will soak up a lot of the spices and things and it also helps it to go a little further. Crab meat, it's not cheap. But fortunately, Restaurant Depot, um, you've got the lump crab and you can see it's nice and chunky. This is not the jumbo lump, this is just like the poor people lump. So this is <laughs> real gas media. But, you know, this will be fantastic. Yeah. On that sub roll, it's going to be good. So, he's going to get that together. He's going to then mix this. And we're going to get our chili down here as well.
got your uh, putting hot sauce in there too? Mm, I usually don't. No, I, mean I try not to over over season it so you get the crab flavor into it. But if you think we need to put some in there, you're the chef. Usually, like a little, little dash of work. <sighs> see, I ain't got that kind of time. You, you see, I it's in there. It's done. Okay. Let's see. A chef, he's got just the right speed as he whisks it. You see? He's yeah, and for me, okay, go. I ain't got time. I, I look, I literally have 14 minutes before I'm supposed to be on live. So we need to get this recorded before I go down live. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you can see how his is really saucy, and you can't tell the difference of the egg and the mayonnaise and all that stuff. Mine, you'd see streaks of egg in there. Okay, it, you see, this is perfection. Mine is get the shit out because we got to feed the troops. Okay, so you can see that with the breadcrumbs in there, it's saucy, and notice the color. See that that Dijon mustard color in there, the Worcestershire sauce, and of course the mayonnaise and the egg give it that kind of yellowish tint. Okay, so he's got that. What you need? You need to mix. Yeah. Here's the fork. Right. My wife's forks. Oh, they're the greatest invention ever. What do you think of these forks? I like them. These are nice. Hey, okay. get them? I love them. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so now, right. crab meat. And we're going to fold it in there because what we don't want to have is, we don't want to make it, like I said, so it's mush. Yeah. You want it to be as lumpy as possible. And this is three pounds of crab meat. Woo! Yeah, we'll have enough. Mm -hmm. yes, oh, it's going to be more than enough for that stuff. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and that's it. And what we'll do is, we're just gonna end up cooking that real quick on the grill with the uh, fixings to go with it. All right, now I can go live, and we'll be back later. <laughs> Get those crab cakes on there. Yeah. Okay, good people. We are doing a crab cake sub. This is actually pretty easy here. Now that David has gotten the uh, crab and stuff together. I love this uh, griddle that I got last year. I got this last year when we were getting ready for the uh, Commander's game. I'm going to put some liquid margarine on here. This just makes it a little bit easier than um, fresh butter. I don't know that it's any better for you or worse, but I love having this full-size griddle. And we're going to just warm up our bread, get a crust to it, and then we're going to get the Krabby Patties going. Get this warmed up real good. David's gonna make our crab cakes and slap those on there. And you can just put them right onto the grill. Because we need to get those all started. This is gonna be good. And we got the lettuce and tomato on the inside along with Go ahead and just make them them on the grill. And um, they don't have to be pretty. Just, yeah, just. Yeah, that's fine. Just get them on there.
All right, we got our remoli sauce. We got our lettuce and tomatoes. And we got David getting those started. Look at that, nice toast on that bun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'll let that grill just a little bit more, and I'm gonna set more. Did I, did I say more as in like Kellen more? Okay. More here. Look at that sub. Oh, Nelly. Shout out to Chef David, who is busting his ass feeding you guys on his day off, is coming here and helping to feed us. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be nice. You see that nice golden color on there? Mm. We need to put a little bit more. Nelly. Can't wait to see my cowboys. We're almost there.
Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I was just going to say, because we're full. Okay. The sub is full. Alright, I got um, it. Right and that's why I need a plate to put these on. Okay, there we go. We got a full, full Krabby Patty sub now. I guess we won't worry about the onions because we're getting close. Can you pull those for me? Yeah. The spatula's right over there. Right there between, right between the grip. There you go. over the rest of this. Now the key on this thing is that warm bun. Yeah. really makes it great. Okay. And Put our curly toothpicks in, and we are good to go for the game. What do you think, David? Look good. Wow, you mean I got exactly enough on the end? <laughs> Once you turn the grill. Off and go hit the sub. Put that over it. And voila! That's it. Our dun 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 dun